For this lesson, we're going to review how to solve equations graphically. To solve an equation graphically, we want to graph the left side of the equation as y equal. Then we want to graph the right side of the equation as a y equals. The solution to the equation is the x value where the two graphs cross. These graphs cross at x equals 2, so that's the solution to the equation. So, to solve an equation graphically, we graph each side of the equation as its own function, and then we find the x value of the point of their intersection. Now we're going to apply the same concept to solving an equation with absolute values in it. To solve this equation in example 1 graphically, first we're going to graph the left side of the equation as its own y equals. Then we're going to graph the right side of the equation as its own y equals. The solution of the equation is where the x values where the graphs meet. This function has two x values, x equals negative 6 and x equals 2, because the graphs meet twice. We can either write them as individual x equals, or we can write them as a set. Again, we found two solutions to this graph because the graphs crossed twice. Now turn your paper over and do you try number two. Pause the video while you try to do the example. For this problem, I graph the left side in red, I graph the right side in blue, and there were two intersections. The x values of the intersection points were negative 2 and 4, so those are the solutions to the equation. Next, we want to try to solve this problem a different way. If we wanted to, we could try to get the absolute value by itself before we did the graphing. For this problem, to get the absolute value by itself, I would add 4 to both sides of the equation. When I do that, my new equation would be the absolute value of x minus 1 equals 3. Now I can graph y equals x minus 1 as one equation and y equals 3 as a second equation and see where they cross. Pause the video while you do that for the second graph. Even though the graphs look different, they still have the same x values for the point of intersection. These graphs cross when x equals negative 2 and x equals 4. Turn the page and we will try example 2. On this example, we're solving 2 times the absolute value of x plus 1 equals 10. But when we try to fit this on our graph paper, y equals 10 won't fit. So we need to write this expression if possible. The way we're going to rewrite it in step number one is to get rid of the 2 out in front by dividing both sides of the equation by 2. When we do this, we'll have the absolute value of x plus 1 is equal to 5. Now we can graph both the left and the right sides of the equation as their own expressions and see where they cross. When I graph these two graphs and see where their lines cross, they intersect at two places. The x values are negative 6 and 4. Pause the video while you attempt you try number 3. In this problem, I had to divide both sides of the equation by 5 to make it fit on my graph. The graph still has two solutions because it crosses twice. The solutions are when x equals negative 6 and x equals positive 6. So how do you solve an absolute value equation graphically? You graph the left side as a function and graph the right side as a function, and the solutions are the x values where the graphs cross. If needed, you can do algebra first to get the absolute value by itself. Pause the video while you try, you try number 5. When we graph this problem, the two graphs never cross, so the answer we get is no solution. In algebra, we can also show this by putting curly brackets with nothing in between them to indicate the empty set. Again, the reason why? Because the graphs never touch.
try example four on your own while you pause the video. Again, with this problem, when we divide both sides by negative two to make the graph smaller, the graphs never touch, so the answer is no solution. To try example number five, we can still graph the left side and the right side. In this case, the right side isn't going to be a horizontal line, it's going to be a diagonal line with a slope of four and a y-intercept of four. Plot those. I plotted the left side of the equation and the right side of the equation, and the two graphs cross when x is equal to one. So the solution is x equals one. In this case, I only got one solution because the graphs only cross once. You try example number six while you pause the video. I graphed the left and right sides, and the x values where the graphs cross is at x equals negative two. This only has one solution because the graphs only cross once. I need to be careful that my graphs might not cross outside of my window. These clearly won't cross outside of my window because the two lines right here are at a slope that they will never meet again. So what are the possible answers when solving an absolute value equation? You can have one solution if your graphs cross one time. You can have two solutions if your graphs cross twice. Or you can have no solution if the two graphs never touch each other. Again, make sure that you've looked out far enough that the graphs won't cross outside of your window.